what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here soon we're talking about chucky the tv series now the tv series did get renewed officially for season two it was announced before the finale aired and it was also announced in a little short snippet clip telling us that chucky will be back in 2022 so chucky season two is confirmed the finale yes was last night if you watch my recap then you pretty much already know most of the things that happened in that episode also if i guess you're someone who hasn't watched the finale you shouldn't be watching this because i'm going to be talking about anything and all things that i want to talk about regarding the series in detail so in the end of the episode a lot of things were going on especially regarding nika pierce and don mancini did have an interview with uh fandom that i'll leave in the description for everyone to read it if you want to read everything about it but he was asked about how he was asked about just some of the things that we can expect going into season two and just teasing us with other things that I know a lot of people were clamoring to see in this season that you might get to see in the next season. Basically, I, what Don Mancini does that I kind of like about him, I guess, is he tries to first see how fans are responding to certain things. And if he wants to continue going forward like that, or even if released to bringing a character back. He wants to see what what we as the audience think first before he tries to figure out a way to logically, I guess, bring a character back or make something that you didn't like, I guess, no longer real. <laughs> so, like, for instance, with Nika, Nika had her arms and her legs chopped off last night because Tiffany wanted to make sure that Chucky didn't have any way to kill her if he were to take back over Nika's body. So when talking to fandom mancini said that we've left nika in yet another very precarious position in which the odds are stacked against her but really the motivation for this continuously is that i want to give fiona more cool stuff to do when i pitched this to her she was like oh my gosh like what and and he also stays like what was really what was what was funny at this point is that somebody called from the studio and said um is nika going to be a major character in season two and he told them yes and then they were just like okay so, so of course like they're just trying to understand if you already have plans for nika to be a major character in season two how is she supposed to be so major and how is anyone supposed to really take her seriously i guess as a major character when she has no no arms or legs she has no limbs and i know a lot of you were upset at what happened with nika i was mostly shocked that, that they went that far because nika has been through so much and her character arc has been so kind of sad ever since the events of Curse of Chucky. She's getting blamed for stuff she did not do. She is not in control of her body. Now she doesn't have her arms or her legs. She's kind of like one of the most heartbreaking characters at this point in the series when it relates to progression and just how things just seem to be getting worse and worse and worse for her. So it's like, when will things get better for her? So I've been thinking about the idea of whether or not Nika's body being amputated like that or just chopped off her arms and her legs what if there's some type of drug that tiffany of course has put on her injected into her and that's just what she thinks is going on that's just what she thinks is going on then of course the same thing will be happening with chucky when he takes over the body and he won't even attempt to kill her it could just be that that's what's happening it could be that this is an hallucination or if he really is committing to this how is nika going to be an integral part of the series going forward unless she's body hopping which she could do because honestly what you've created here is you've created a, a a major villain for tiffany the way andy barkley i guess could be considered a major villain for chucky so if anyone's going to take down tiffany i would love for it to be nika i think that would be the ultimate payoff i don't even think I, I i honestly don't think nika should die i don't know how sh what they're going to do with her going forward but i think nika should be the one that takes down tiffany because everything that's happening to her you can argue is tiffany's fault especially after learning that tiffany was the one who called the cops on charles that night not nika's mom and i'll do i'll do more explanations about that in another video at another time but he also went on to say some other stuff about glinda and glenn showing up in the show and he likes to again just gauge if fans are interested he said this is probably one of one where i'm not allowed to say too much but i love those characters i think it's probably safe for me to say that you haven't seen the last of them so i guess there's intent for them to be a part of the series going forward if things plan out of course or pan out and then i'm talking about flashbacks 
He says, I think that you maybe haven't seen the last of them. I think that that stuff was very gratifying for all of us that it landed as well as it did. People seem to really like it, of course. Fiona Dorf is phenomenal, and I think Blaze Crocker as Young Tiffany is amazing. I think people really like them. There's probably more we can see. So basically, he also went on to say it may take different forms and gave an example, but whereas they were like threaded throughout the whole season maybe in season two there will just be specifically one episode that has a flashback focus but i really enjoy those characters now and i think and i think of them almost as different characters young charles and young tiffany the actors are so great and that's so much really my motivation with all of this stuff over the decades is i love actors i love working with actors and i love writing stuff for actors that i know and giving them the new sh to do he also went on to talk about the silva appearing mike norris and um, Andy's mom I forgot her name, uh, Karen, Karen Barkley. So he went on again to say for the Chucky Phantom, I like to take the temperature of these things. So it's like, do you want to see these characters again? Well, perhaps you should tune in next year. He knows Perry Reeves is down for coming back because Perry Reeves, who played the Silver in Child's Play, Child's Play 3, did actually put out a video that I guess Mancini saw. And she made it clear that she would love to return to the world of Chucky and Don Mancini has seen this. They haven't been in contact, I guess, for a few years, according to Don Mancini. But of course, him being in the industry, her being in the industry, and I think she's she has a, a role she's very familiar for, or she's very known for at this point on a hit series. But if they manage to bring the silver back, of course, I know a lot of people would like to see that. Although the interaction, if she were to interact with Andy, since that's not the same guy to play Andy, I guess would be a little weird, but whatever. So they also went on to say well basically that's that's really all he had to say that i found important from this interview i'll again leave a link to, the, to it in the description but teasing these things glenn and glenda appearing uh De silva mike norris and karen barkley appearing definitely stuff to be excited about and i think that there's a strong chance for us to see these characters return now more than ever with this type of format for the franchise going forward if they continue to be a staple on cable television like this the Tiffany doll being back honestly was the highlight that was yes what I was talking about when I was talking about it on Twitter that was just like a dream come true for me because I've been wanting to see Andy meet the Tiffany doll for so long but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews I'm going to cover in the future let me know what you guys think what happened in season two down in the comment section below um, and I will see you guys in the next video